What's up everybody and welcome back to the Tekkit server. So I'm on my own today unfortunately because it is currently midday and Willow is busy. So I think I'm actually the only one on the server at the moment. Oh no, there is Builder Freya on the server as well. Right, so between videos I've been doing a lot of work. As you can see we've now got this place full of chests. I rebuilt the macerator, built the generator and connected it to an iron furnace down there and have been smelting all of our ores so ta-da! we now have an absolute ton of resources which is awesome and you know what I can actually smelt this copper ore as well by sticking uh, let's put a bit more coal in there Oops. now as you will have seen from my inventory just there I've got 42 diamonds I think someone came by and gave me like 8 or so diamonds and then I've been going down through my mine shaft and doing a lot of mining. But what I mainly wanted to do is this. As you can see by this box, I've got some things prepared. So this here is everything I'm going to need to make the, what is it, the condenser. Energy condenser, that's what it's called. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Ta-da! We have an energy condenser now. So this here is pretty much the most important item in all of Tekkit. So you throw this down. Now, let me show you how this works. If I wanted to make, for example, I want, I want arrows. So what I'll do is I'll put one arrow there. Now you can see an arrow has an EMC of 14. So, and let's get wooden planks have an EMC of 8. So. That bar there shows you how close you are to making an arrow. So two two wooden planks can make an arrow. So if I stick all that in, and there we go, turned it all into that. Now what I could also do is then turn this into other stuff. But what you want to do is always try and keep one of an item. So if I wanted, I could start trying to turn them into diamonds. However, a diamond has an EMC of 8,100, which is a lot. But I think what I'm mostly going to be using it for at the moment is to make coal. So one diamond gives, yeah, that's pretty good. Stack of coal. Could be better. Oh, I actually did just use one of my diamonds though, which is probably not the smartest thing I've ever done. Let's stick that in there and let's just have everything that I'm throwing in at the moment making diamonds for us. Because diamonds are always going to come in handy. Now, the other thing I wanted to work on, hmm, is this. Right then, so this here is going to make us a mining turtle, which, as of the moment, I have got absolutely no idea how it works. All I know is I can make it dance. So let's put our computer in, let's surround it by iron ingots, give it a chest, ta-da, we have a turtle. And now we want to make, give it a diamond pickaxe. No? Okay, let's work this out. Mining. A wireless mining turtle. It's a turtle. A wireless modem. Okay, that's just stone and a redstone torch. We've got that. There we go. There's all the stone. And I've got the redstone on me to make it into a torch as well. So let's go like that. Perfect. Right, so a bunch of stone. Surround it by... There we go. And that that is apparently how you make a wireless modem. <laughs> awesome. And look, we've got a nice little Wi-Fi signal on it. And then we give it that. No. Hmm. Maybe it has to be a full health pickaxe. And I believe that one has actually been used. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Hasn't got a damage value. So it does have to be a full health picker. What? Ah, I need to make a wireless turtle. And then give it a pickaxe to make it a wireless mining turtle. There we go. So this here is our mining turtle. Now what I'm going to want to do is probably enable the sound. There we go, I should be able to hear that. Is it coming out of my headset? Let me just check quickly. Uh, nope, sound was coming out of the TV. There we go, options. 
Yeah, should be good now. Right then. How's the way down? There it is. So down here somewhere right at the bottom, I believe I've got a nice pre-prepared area. Is this the right way? No, I think it's over here maybe. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll just go this way. Yeah. Right, so right down the bottom here, I found a massive lava pool. Um, there it is. So, right, for some reason, there is no sound. Ow. Oh, there's a skeleton. And I haven't got my sword with me. Okay, let's, um, let's bash it with a diamond pickaxe. Because I'm an idiot that forgot to bring my sword, and I should probably put my armor back on. Ignore the cars going past. I've got my window open a crack, so you're going to be able to hear things a bit. Right, sound. Sensitivity. Music? No, nope, I get no music either. Well, this is strange. Right, where is the way up? Here we go. Here we go, here we go. So there is actually, up there, an abandoned mine shaft. But I think what I want to do is... Let's plonk down our turtle there. And then say, excavate. Um, excavate. 64, excavating. And here we go. Our turtle is now going to mine for us. Now, what I want to know is, is it going to come back or is it just gonna go that way and end off at the end of a tunnel? If it does, then that's gonna be annoying. Hmm. I need to actually, can I get to it? You know, I'm never going to be able to catch up with that. So that is going to go 64 blocks that way. Let's throw a torch down in there. There we go. And it's already gone off into the distance. And Oh, look. I think this might be some diamond here. Yeah, I know. I'm using this on that. It's fine. Is that... No, that's Nicolite. Ah, uh, well. It's fine. Nicolite is worth quite a bit of EMT. Alright, so... Hmm... So I'm actually curious as to whether or not my turtle will come back. Or if it's just going to go out there and mine and never be seen again. Or if maybe the water it's ran into has destroyed my turtle. Which is also a possibility. Yeah, because there's water at the end of that tunnel. Hmm. I would like to get my turtle back. That was not the most, not the uh, cheapest thing in the game. I could actually do and make it a quarry instead. I believe I've got everything I need for a quarry. Ah! <gasps> Turtle's back! Yay, you're a good turtle. Well done. Right, okay, so... Let's see how far it actually went. Because this is a long tunnel. Actually, let's dig down and go this way. Just make it a little bit easier to see. Let's light this up. Right, so I'm not going to bother mining those bits on the side. The turtle should do it for us. Now, is this actually... Oh, I think there's water coming in through the ceiling there. Can I plug it? I don't think so. Right, let's see if I can make it through. Uh... I might be drowning. There we go. Okay, so it did actually just dig into an underwater pool here. Right, have I got any... There we go. Stick cobblestone over the top of it. And hopefully that will stop it from flooding. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So I could just be doing a complete stupid thing. Which, to be fair, is more than likely. Right. There we go. Right, you know what? Why don't I just fill this in completely? It is always good to have water in a mine, though, because if there ends up getting lava into it, lava into it, then what happens? It'll either turn itself into cobblestone or turn into obsidian, which both the quarry and the mining turtle can farm. Right, now I want to go back down. Right, so this is the hole mine turtle made. 
Good test. Oh. Why is the... The turtles just kind of stopped here. Where's my turtle gone? The turtle has come back already. Right. Uh, no empty slots there. Oh, that's terrible. It's only got that much inventory space. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's, um... Let's see if we can pick it up again. And you know what, let's... Let's go up... Oh, ooh, this could be really useful for actually excavating the area to make a quarry, couldn't it? Right, so let me find my way back up again. I think it's this way. Oh, I can't run because I'm a little bit hungry. That's fine, that's not an issue. So, oh for God's sake, someone's been putting snow everywhere in my plot of land. Look at the mini-map, it's all snowy. Right, so what I want to do is have a quarry placed down somewhere in my area. However, we have mined a lot of the stuff already from this place. So what I might do is, ooh, you know what? We've got that second tunnel coming off the main area in Shadesville, like the hole in the ground. So maybe I could head up through to the other section and then cry because I've got no sound still. Uh, yep, that's just a nice little rumor. I should probably have a door at the top of this because I keep having creepers walk up and blow up stuff. Right, let's go this way. Right, I think it's daytime at the moment. Right then. So yeah, if I can... Yeah, there we go. We've got a creepy man here. Hey, creepy dude. Go away. Uh, and another one. I swear there's a creeper spawn around here. There's just so many of them at this section constantly. I guess a creeper spawner is the worst spawner to actually have near your base. I have actually found a skeleton spawner right next to the base. And there's a skeleton, but that's fine. Um, so I want to get down a little bit deeper. Yeah, I think about here will do. Can I... Ow, ow. Yes, yeah, so I think... Here would be a good spot for the quarry. So what I want to do is, and then turn it to tunnel 40. Tunneling. Right now, is it going to? Right. Okay, so it only makes a two by two tunnel. I was hoping through a three by three. Hmm. Because the actual quarry frame. Alright, so once that's done, I will need to move it up a block and tell it to tunnel again there. And then do the same that way and further down there. But, you know what, that's um, empty its inventory. That is a pathetic inventory space. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I'm just going to ignore those ores on the side there. Right, how do I get out of here? And then, importantly, more importantly, how will I get back in? I think I go up through here, maybe? Did I jump down this? Well, even if not, this is a good enough way of any. Can I climb up? Go away, zombie! Die, 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 die! Thank you! Right, yeah, I think this is the right way. Yeah, we've got torches. Torches are always a good sign. Okay. Yeah, there we go, because this is the pillar I was building to try and escape the skeletons in, I think it was like the second episode or something like that. Right. And that was my Facebook beeping at me. Right then, how do I think? Yeah, here it is. Right, let's go and see what people have done to my area. Alright, I have built a nether portal. Got that ready to go. Now, I just want to jump up and take a look around at the area. I've got a diamond pick, so it's not the end of the world now. I can break this all really quickly, instead of what I was doing before, I was just jumping off the top. Right, so, this is the area owned by Shadesville. So everything on this little spit of land within this stone wall and that stone wall. So we've got all of this, all the way up there, down there. We might need to expand in the future. What I was thinking, about here somewhere, 
what I want to do is use lamps because let's take a look in the Tekkit mod pack that it's got all of these colored lamps so what I was thinking would be cool is I want to try to use lamps to make my shield icon which is my YouTube avatar thumbnail -y thing I want to use that to make a huge shield and have that as the centerpiece for the middle of the city I think that'd be a cool idea, cool idea. and I'm also auctioning off plots of, I say auctioning, giving out plots of land to people so I believe someone's got a plot of land over there to build their own contribution to the city and probably some people are going to claim literally everything around me but I only request is no high laggy machines right on top of my base because that would be horrible now where is it hmm there there we go you can see the cornerstone foundations my plan there is I'm going to be trying to build a tribute to the Jaffa factory the series that got me into tech it in the first place so because I've got a laptop that can run tech it as well what I'm going to do is put this account into creative mode and just hover probably above it like there somewhere pointing down at the base and then on the laptop I'll be recording on the computer and then on the laptop I'll log into my Minecraft account and actually play building the entire tower and then I'll try and time lapse it which I thought was a good idea you all might disagree but I think that would be cool right then Hmm, I might actually do that this episode. I don't think I've got the time for it today because I've got an interview that I need to leave here for in like two and a half hours and I've got some other bits left to record. Oh, selfless, shameless plug or whatever here. If you haven't already, check out the Minecraft, dan uh, Minecraft dance video. Overwatch dance video I made. It was Sombra dancing to Taylor Swift, Shake It Off. And if you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend because it's it is amazing. And it took about five or six hours to edit it all together. And is there a pig in that house? Why is there a pig in my house? Excuse me. Don't look at me like that. Stay. Oh, there's... There's not actually any windows on this house. Okay. Well. Cool. Hello, piggy. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't think you'd die in one hit. That's that's really disappointing. All right, let's smack this pig in the face as well. Come here, piggy. There we go. That's more like it. Two hits to die. I'm starving to death. I need the bacon. Come here, piggy. Come here, piggy. Look at me. Look at me when I murder you. Thank you. Oh, that's that's just evil. Okay, I will set up that recording session. So that means this video is going to be not today. It'll be in a couple days, most likely. But look, someone's run around with one of those bloody snow rings and covered my area in snow. It took me ages to remove it the last time when they did a big section there. <sighs> People are a pain. All right, I'll see you all in a minute. The next section of the time lapse probably won't have me talking unless I add some voice bits over it afterwards. Bye!
Alright, and welcome back, people. As you saw by that time lapse, I am utterly terrible at building in this game. Oh, 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 okay, there's a puddle here. Awesome. Um, hi, hi, doggy. You're kind of stuck inside the block there. There you go, you can get out now. Right, so it is currently, I'd say, about a half or maybe even a third of the total height that it's going to be eventually. But I'm happy with what I've done so far until I go and look inside and then I get sad with how much I've done so far. Can I get in here? No, because there's actual stone in the way. No, stone there. Hmm. See, if I was more organised, I would actually have taken a pickaxe with me when I was doing the building in order to be able to break the blocks when I screwed up. But this is what I've gotten to so far. The floor's all going to be hollowed out down to this level here. So that's going to be a little walkway around the first floor. We're going to have some lights there and then more floors above and beyond. So that's what I managed to get done. I'm going to see if I can recruit some other people that are on the server to hopefully possibly finish it off for me. Well, not finish it off, but help me with building it around a lot faster. So I'm going to end off the video here. It's probably been a bit of a shorter video, but it has taken a long time to make. So thanks for watching, people. And goodbye. Oh, that's the wrong way. Goodbye.